Hello everyone. Uh, due to popular demand, I've put together a silent and sneaky casino heist walkthrough. Um, lots of people have been asking the best way to do it, and as some people are finding it the hardest, I thought I'd put it together. Um, in this one, it's going to show you how to raid both vaults, so that's the small one and the main one, with the gold. Um, it's two player, and you will escape, get the elite challenge, which is completing it within 15 minutes and getting your 50k bonus. So without further ado, let's go. Before we start, it's important that I show you who my heist crew are, what weapons, uh, vehicles, etc. I use, and what preps you will need to get this completed. As you can see from the list, I don't do the EMP, and I don't do the infiltration suits, and I do not do the power drills. For gunmen, you can really choose anyone you like, but I like using McCoy because he gives you the pump action shotgun, which is an absolute beast in this, as you will see. But it's really down to personal preference. Some of the lighter weight guns are just as effective if used correctly with headshots, etc. But you're less likely to make mistakes if you use the pump action shotgun. Um, and I seem to get it done quicker, so that's what I use. For the getaway driver, with all these heists, you should just choose the cheapest one who is carrying Benz. Um, he only takes a small percentage. Um, and choose the Sentinel Classic because out of the four cars, they are the best handling and they're a little bit faster and they're just an all round better car than what's on offer. As for the hacker, just stick with Paige. Um, you can go with A.V. Schwartzman for an extra 1% on top of that, but he doesn't really give you as much as you really need. Um, if you go any lower than that, you will struggle with the hacking, which is going to be absolutely vital in getting these elite challenges completed. On to the optional preps. Um, I always do the patrol routes because you can see where everyone is. Um, once you get really good at it, you can do it without, but to get it done quicker, it's best to know where everyone is and you can plan as you go. Uh, the Duggan shipments make sure that your enemies don't have heavy weapons and more vitally don't have the heavy armor. Um, when you're shooting them, they may take two more shots and it's just gonna make your time a lot slower. And the last one there, you want security pass level two. On your planning board, you want the entrance to be staff lobby, your exit to be staff lobby. Select a high level, um, which give you a bit more cash. Don't buy any of the other extra options. You're just wasting your money. Um, and again, the best way to do it, as you will see, is going to be with two players. And I'll explain why as we go on. Okay, so we're going in through the side door. I hope you brought your A-game because you're not getting a warm-up. Drive over there, I'll be in touch. Okay, softly, softly approach. We're the only crew I know who can speak so little and still make so much noise. <laughs> but here's hoping. The key to this whole job is to forget we're attempting a career-defining heist and stay calm. Are you calm? Good, because I'm calm. <laughs> What's not to be calm about? If you screw up and they see you, we're just going to do this the old-fashioned way, one dead guy at a time. Okay, do you want the good news or the bad news? Well, the good news is that they just had a record-breaking weekend, so the vault is full to bursting. And the bad news is that they've hired extra security to guard it. Okay, here we are. The timer for the Elite Challenge will not start until you hit the first checkpoint here and you get the following cutscene. The timer is now running. Um, this black screen that you go into lasts around 35 seconds, but for the purposes of the video, I've just edited that bit out. So off we go. Uh, straight away, wait for everyone to spawn. Blast everyone in your way with this gun. You can run as fast as you like. Um, I always take out that camera, um, mostly due to force of habit, but we don't need it, so it's gone. Um, it's really important to be on the microphone and a headset with your partner, so you can time things like this bit here. We're making sure that we're killing both guards at the same time, because one can see the other. Straight into here, hit this button, we'll open up the first vault. Uh, the money is up to around 100,000, but you're looking at between 50 uh, to 90 usually. It's all random and depends on how lucky you are. Going to wind a little bit here because the guard that walks past the glass, he has to be taken out. 
Um, you don't want him spotting any more dead bodies. So my partner's going to wait until he's at the door, takes him out, therefore the camera can't reach him and the camera will not spot his body either. Once we're clear, I'm going to head round to the stairs. You can take the lift, but there's two guards at the bottom and sometimes the lift glitches and you'll be stuck there and they will spot you and it's going to ruin everything. So right round this corner, there's a guard that comes up, take him out, switch over to your stun gun, take out the camera. Now I'm going to have extra time here because my partner is raided in the other vault, he's still got to get down so I can be quite patient here and not rush it too much. Make sure you take out the guard that looks at you rather than the guard with his back towards you. It just gives you an extra half a second before the other guard can react and it's just a bit safer. When you get close to this camera here, it will trigger the guard to move. So he's gone back round. I'm going to take out these. I'm going to follow him. Wait till he's out of sight of the camera. Take him out. Go back round. I've got one more guard in this room in the corner. Wait for the cameras. The guy in the camera room, he can either point towards where I am now or away, depending on the layout of the actual setup at the time. You don't have to kill him, he should be fine, but again, I'm still waiting for my partner to get down, so I'm just going to make sure. Now I'm in position, ready for the key cards. Just hold up for my partner, here he comes. We've got 51,000 in this case, not great, but it's better than nothing. 3, 2, 1, hit your cards. Now here you cannot sprint. There's something about this man trap that you cannot sprint. So when you see us jumping around like maniacs, it's because jumping is faster than the fastest run you can do in this man trap. Okay, so far so bueno. Push on to the vault. Ah, looks like the guard at the vault room isn't there. Happy days. I know this is a special moment for you down there. But trust me, it's about to get a lot more special on the other side of that door. Break out the laser drill, let's do A little this. trick here with the drilling, on the PlayStation 4 it is the R2 button. Now what I do is I spam it really quickly, tap 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 tap, in that motion all the way, and it gives you enough time for your drill to cool down, and also your laser is powerful enough to hit through all of these locks. We are doing this on hard mode, so instead of having four locks to break through, we have six. Onto the layouts. They are different. I think there's three different ones. Um, some are going to be faster than others and it's just pot luck. Um, as a general rule, I'm always the guy that goes down the center and I start doing the hacking. With the hacking, it's all about practice. Um, I've got to the point where I don't even look at the fingerprint. I just know by looking at the eight fingerprints available, which four are the ones that I need to select. So as I'm going through this list, I'm just looking for those Hit as quickly as possible. You're looking at about 14 seconds to 17 seconds if I'm struggling a bit. So that's two hacks done. In I go. I did make a slight error in this one because I should have checked to the left where the gate was already open. So as I'm going to try and do this gold glitch, you will see that it won't work. So you pick one up, back out, and then as I try to go back in again, if it works, I should get duplicate of the gold that's there. Instead, the whole thing freezes. You have to do it within a certain time, otherwise it won't work. So I should have come to this one first, picked up the one gold bar, put it back, re-entered the trolley to pick up the gold, and it would have spawned. My partner did it, and it worked for him because he was working in the center, so he had enough time to trigger the first set of trolleys and get the extra gold.
Once you've collected the gold, you can no longer jump. The sprint in is as fast as this, so you need to go into first person, and as you can see already, I'm already travelling a lot faster. In first person view, you are running at the top sprint speed. You can't do that when you're in third person, the game won't allow it. So when you get the opportunity, after you've collected the gold, always go into first person. I've just got one more door to hack. My partner's here waiting, he can get in a little bit faster than me because of the action that my character is doing. Due to the time restraint, there's no point me hacking the last one because by the time I do it, we'll have to be out. What you're looking for, depending on where you are in the vault, is between 15 and 20 seconds and you should be heading out back to the door before the alarm goes off. If the alarm is triggered, you will fail the elite challenge. Same with the hacking, you need to make sure that you do not fail the hacking. But you have plenty of lives on the hacking, so you can get one wrong and still go back in. It depends if you fail the hacking completely and the game kicks you out. Here's my partner. Three, two, one. Get ready, open the doors. And as soon as these doors open, we're going to head back into first person and away we run. When you reach this part, you would either have three guards spawn in, or you may not have any at all. They're quite easy. One, two, three. Hop round underneath the camera. Again, still in first person, so you can go faster. Out of sight of this camera, wait for it to move. And you want to take the lift. Out of the lift, head straight for this door. We've got two guards in here. One, two. Out of through this main door. Don't worry about anything else. We've already taken that camera out on the right, so I haven't got to worry about that. Unfortunately, this time my partner's character glitched in the lift, and it took him about another 10 seconds or so to find his way back out. Outside, you want to go back in first person, hop over this fence, sprint all the way to the end of this track. Now you will see lots of noose here, but for whatever weird reason, they don't tend to spot you. Once we've hopped over this fence, ideally we want a car to spawn just in front of us on the road because it's quicker than heading towards the cars that we've already had from our driver. We just missed this one, but luckily enough our spawn cars that we stole are just here. They can be a lot further away and it's a bit of luck as to whether it's going to work out for you or not doing it this method.
where you want to head to is right next to the La Mesa police station, right in this little alleyway here. If you park up right up close to the wall, you will glitch out like that, and it just saves your character a couple more seconds because you're faster getting out of the car. You don't have to wait for your partner to get out and then climb over him. Stay in first person, hop up these walls. Don't go too far to the right here because you won't be able to jump like that. Up the next one, one more. This bit can be tricky, just take an extra second or two to make sure you line it up. Over on this ledge, one, two, left again. The benefit of staying in first person is this little bit here, you can do it in one go. If you're in third person, it has to hop onto that smaller ledge first before you can climb up on the big ledge. There's always a helicopter here if you can do it fast enough. If you are slow, say you drove off and tried to lose the cops and then come back, that helicopter would be spawned and you wouldn't be able to use it. Luckily enough, our drop-off location was one of the closest. The worst one you can get is Plato Bay, which will add probably another 30, if not more seconds, onto your time. Silent and Sneaky doing it this way with double bolts is a really close time restraint. There are ways to do it quicker with two players, and that's by missing out on the double vault and just heading straight down to the main vault. We just need to wait to lose the cops and we managed to do it almost perfectly as we descend in, there's the yellow dot, land it as quickly as possible, you can smash into that car all day long if you like. And that's it. We're just gonna wait and check for the time. Like I say, you need to be done in under 15 minutes. I always use a online timer next to me. Uh, 14.48, it's a close one that. No hacks failed, no restarts. Get your $50,000 bonus and end up with over a million each. And there you have it. Hope you learned something. Hope I was helpful. Just have a look at the statistics here. What percentages went where. How much we ended up with. Again, if you liked the video, like, comment and subscribe. It really helps me out. And it will convince me to do some more. Okay. Thank you. Until next time. Have a good one.